Glory. It's a little past time, but we're enjoying to go ahead and start service. How many of you come expecting something from the Lord tonight? Amen. I tell you, you have to be like I am. You can watch the news and see the things that is happening. At first, there's an initial shock, and then you realize the scripture says that these very things is going to happen. And when that happens, we need to be aware. We need to look up for our redeemers. Let's stand and just ask you to bless us and let's open up our hearts, our ears, be alert to the sensitivity of the Holy Spirit. And I believe there will be things accomplished in this service. And our Heavenly Father, again we are gathered together with one purpose in mind, and that is to worship you, to humble ourselves and to draw near to you. And to give you thanks and praise for everything that you've done for us, for the cross, and, and, and because you live with it and you walk with us and you talk to us. And Master, it's just such a privilege and we're so honored and so blessed. It's beyond our understanding the things that you've done for us and the love that you must have. And so we are going to return our love. We're going to show you our love because we love you. We're going to sing to you, and as we do, I pray, Master, that the Holy Spirit will come, that will saturate this place, that you'll move and do a work in our midst. And everything that is accomplished tonight, we're going to give you thanks for it in your matchless name. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Oh, magnify the Lord.
Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Let's what a wonderful change in my life has been brought since Jesus came into my heart. I have lied in my soul for which long I have sought since Jesus came into my heart. Since Jesus came into my heart. Tuesday night, God came down and blessed. And, uh, we're just believing that God is going to do something in this revival yes, that He's never done. Amen. Praise Amen. God. Amen. Let us come Amen. expecting something that we've never seen before. Amen? Hallelujah. Yes, Chris has got an announcement before we do this. There's some stuff back on the table some miscellaneous things, some fans, and some dog leashes. If anybody has a big dog that's back there, you can have it. Also, did, we've got on the other table, by the record, the CD thing, there are some flyers for you to take and pass out for the revival. So we'd love for you to do that. Uh, let's have some cool up here, John. People are fanning. Well, if you turn well, it well, it was cold when I walked in, but it soon gets warm as time goes on. Oh, thank you. Uh, uh, Sister Marvell is going to be putting together a new directory, and she's got one over here on the hospitality desk. If you need to either put your name in there, or if, you, if you're not already in there, or if there's some mistakes, I know one person's phone number is wrong, be sure and go over there and look and do any corrections that need to be done because she will be putting it together very, very soon. All right, Brother Ron, will you pray? Thank you. Yes. 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 Amen. Now we're going to sing a song I don't suppose we've ever sung in here because it's not in the recording. It the computer? It's an old one. I hope you know it. Constantly abiding. How many know this? Amen. All right. Let's sing. Give me some music. There's a peace in my heart that the world never gave. A peace that cannot take away.
But we do, we do, we do, we do. We have a great big moment for God. Praise God. Yes, we do. We got a great big wonderful God.
sing Jesus Praise sign my part. Jesus. We're going to help you out. Praise Come on. Jesus. You can do this. Thank this is the song Jesus. that actually brought him Thank to God. Hallelujah. Come on. Jesus. And I don't know what key we need to put it in for you. I do it in C, but I'm not sure about it. I was in sense prison. I'm telling you, it's heaven. Come on, church. Can we pray, church? I don't hear you. Come on, let's pray. Come on. Let's try it in this key. We might have to try it. <laughs> I was in since prison. I was in since prison. Oh, so dark and cold. Just a Jesus. 
Read about uh, read about uh, what you think his name? Gideon. Uh, rap marching around. Jericho. Oh, no. 
How many are glad they're saved? How many are on your way to heaven today? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, I think I'm a little loud. I love the job. Glory. Glory. Hallelujah. Woo, I feel it. I feel oh, I feel good. Glory. Glory. Yeah. Just know I've been redeemed makes me feel good. Oh, Glory to God. The other day, Glory to God. We reading together, Johnny and I. We came across, we were in the book of John. And I don't know what I'm going to do. I went to my computer because, would you believe? If there's any computer tech in this place, my printer will not pick up. My, it's a Wi-Fi printer, and my Wi-Fi is off, and I can't get it on. I started to type these notes out in the computer. I thought, well, why, why should I? I can't print them. So here I am. But before that, I, there's some things I did print out. But I, want, I don't know which one I want to go to first, but I guess I'll go to John chapter 15 first. This is a very familiar chapter, and I'm going to read much of it, not all of it. But you know about it, and I've preached a message on this about uh, fruit, more fruit, and much fruit, but I'm not preaching that tonight. But there's a word in here. This is probably hitting. Let me take care of it. I know better than to do this. Than to wear this necklace. Don't let me forget it when I get through, because I do like it. <laughs> All right, I was making noise. <clears throat> but let's read. I am the true vine, Jesus said. Mm -hmm. My father is the husbandman. Every branch in me that bears not fruit, he takes away. Every branch that bears fruit, he purges it, that it may bring forth more fruit. Hallelujah. Now you are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. Abide in me, and I in you, as the branch cannot bear fruit of itself, except it abide in the vine. No more can you, except you abide in me. Mm -hmm. I am the vine, you are the branches. He that abides in me, and I in him, the same brings forth much fruit. For without me, you can do nothing. Right. If a man abide not in me, he's cast forth as a branch, and is withered. And men gather them, and cast them into the fire, and they are burned. If you abide in me, and my words abide in you, you shall ask what you will, and it shall be done unto you. Herein is my Father glorified, that you bear much fruit. So shall you be my disciples. As the Father has loved me, so have I loved you. Continue in my love. If you keep my commandments, you shall abide in my love, even as I have kept my Father's commandments and abide in His love. These things have I spoken unto you that my joy might remain in you and that your joy may be full. Hallelujah. Now the one word that just, when we read it, I stopped. I said, Johnny, there's got to be more to that word abide than what meets the eye. We think of that word abide, but there's a lot to that little word. So I went to the dictionary, and it's the synonyms for abide is this, and there's a lot of them. Comply with. I think of this in relation to abiding in Jesus. If you abide in me, he said abide in me. Verse 4, abide in me. Comply with me. Come into agreement with me. Obey me. You see, we, we, we pride ourselves that he's abiding in us, but if we're not obeying him, we're, he's really not abiding in us. Come on now. Observe. Follow. Follow him. Keep to him. Hold to him. Conform to him. I like that. Conform. The Bible teaches us that. That we are to be conformed to the image of Jesus Christ. Right. Adhere to. Stick to. Hallelujah. You know, it reminds me of Elisha and Elijah. Mm -hmm. When Elijah said, you stay here, Elisha. i got to go on a little bit further. And he said, as the Lord lives and as my soul lives, I am not going to leave you. 
if we can get that in our spirits when we follow Jesus and finally, you know, Elijah said, if you see me when I go away, I'm going away. He knew it. The prophets knew it. The sons of the prophets knew it. And he said, if you see me when I leave, you can have that double portion that you want. I, I can. He was probably almost like, you know, sticking so close to Elijah because he was not going to miss it when Elijah went away. And we need to have that kind of a tenacity with Jesus. I'm going to hold on to Jesus no matter what the devil throws at Come me. On. No matter how much he pushes against me. I'm going to adhere. I'm going to, yes. I'm going to stick to him oh, like oh. glue. Like Elmer's glue. Like gorilla glue. <laughs> Hallelujah. Pray. You didn't know I knew about that, did you? Hallelujah. Stand by. Hallelujah. Act in accordance with this little word of by. Act in accordance with Jesus. How many times do we get off track? Are we acting like Jesus? But this is what it says. Uphold. Heed. Pay attention to. Agree to and agree with. Consent to. You know, uh, Jackie used to tell me, I said this before, well, I just hate to argue with God because He's always right. Well, it's true. If, if the word is truth, it's truth. I told someone just recently, I said, well, either you believe the Bible or you don't. You take it all or you don't take any of it. Amen. We can't pick and choose what we want to believe and what we don't want to believe. I've been a stickler, Brother Ray, to make sure when I preach something, it's in this Bible. I remember the first time I gave an interpretation in tongues, you know. Somebody had given a message. Maybe I gave it, and I gave the interpretation. And I something I said in it that night, I went home, Sister uh, Marvell, and I looked. I, I just see if this was scriptural, what I had just said that night. And you know what? I found it in the Bible. Praise God. we got to stick to the Word. Amen. Somebody, I've said it often, I heard someone say, if what I see does not agree with this word, I will not believe what I see. That's right. Well, that's a mouthful. That's, right. that's a mouthful. Accept. Go along with. <laughs> well, who better to go along with than Jesus? Right. He said, if you abide, I want you to abide in me. I want you to go along with me. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. You know, in the 60s, when the hippies had that, God visited the hippies. And they said, me and Jesus, we've got our own thing going. <laughs> Hallelujah. You know, that was, that was really good. At the time, we kind of scoffed at that. But you know what? If you don't have that kind of relationship with Jesus, then you're missing out on the greatest part of what this thing is all about. Amen. Because, honey, it's not me and you and Jesus. It's not me and Johnny and Jesus. It's me and Jesus. Right. It's yeah. Johnny and Jesus. That's Hallelujah. right. <coughs> Glory. Thank God for that. Amen. Praise God. And I got my glasses back. Hallelujah. I feel like I'm all together now. Acknowledge, respect, and defer to. I like that. Whatever you say, Jesus. He says, don't do that, but I want to do that. But you defer. I'll do it. You know, we say, I'll go where you want me to go. Oh, God, please, don't make me go across the street and talk to that person, that <laughs> terrible person. <laughs> Hello? 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 Yeah. When he speaks, be quick to answer. Amen. Don't Possibly. beat around the bush. Don't mull it. I said that Thursday, I mean, Sunday night, I was talking about it. Just do it. Uh -huh. yeah. Hallelujah. You might get a double portion tonight. I don't know. But this abiding, it, there's so much in there. It's not a skip to the loo, my darling. <laughs> <laughs> it's serious. It, it's life or death. Amen. It's making heaven or not making heaven. That's right. He said, I want you to abide in me. And when he said, if you abide in me, he said, if you keep my commandments, you shall abide in my love. That's right. And John says in his epistle, one of his epistles later, he said, his, his commandments are not grievous. They're really not hard. It's when we kick against the pricks. Come on. Saul of Tarsus did when it's hard. But once you just say, I surrender. Yes. I keep using that phrase, sweet surrender. Mm -hmm. How sweet it is when we surrender. Amen. We see it, I surrender all. But how many 
many times do we have to pray through after we sing that because we're convicted? Bless the Lord. <laughs> now, when we have the mood burning thing, and I don't know when it's going to be, but it's going to happen. I'm going to ask every one of you, if you've got something you want to release, you write it out on a piece of paper. Maybe there's something you struggle with, something you need to let go of. And I already know a person that's going to do that. I want you to write it on paper. Just wad it up. I, just wad it up. And we're going to throw it in the fire. Uh huh. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Y'all don't look very excited about that. <laughs> but it's a good thing. It is. Amen. It's a good thing. Some things that nag us and, and hold on to our lives uh, that, that he, the devil just wants to use against us. But let's let it go. Bless the Lord. You know, Peter was a fisherman, as you well know. And he didn't fish with a tri uh, rod and reel like my son does. They, preached, they fished oh, Jesus. with nets. Yeah. Throw those nets. Let go of them. When he said, cast all your cares uh -huh. upon him because he cares for you. He, he was talking about when you cast that net out to catch those fish, you let go of it. Yes. So we need Hallelujah. to let go of some things. So you be thinking about that. Hallelujah. And I want to go over to the book of Acts. Just a little ways over there. Hallelujah. I thought I had it marked. Evidently I did. But I will fight for Hallelujah. Chapter 17 of the book of Acts. Hallelujah. Verse 16. You got it? Everybody has it. Say amen. 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 Acts 17. Now while Paul waited for them at Athens, his spirit was stirred in him when he saw the city holy given to idolatry. Let me ask you tonight. This is not anything I planned on saying, but how much does it disturb you with the stuff that's going on around you in our world? Amen. He was stirred when he saw the whole city given to idolatry. And our nation is given to idolatry. Come on. Oh, they may not be, you know, having uh, something they sit lay down like Buddha or whatever to worship, but you know, anything could be can become an idol in our lives. Whatever it might be. I say that sports is America's God. I watch sports. But honey, I can take it or leave it. I'm not going to, I'm not bringing a big screen TV in here on Super Bowl Sunday so everybody can get on, in on the Super Bowl. Come on, it's happened. It's probably really happening now. It was happening years ago. And it's probably worse now. No, they just put out church. They just don't have church. That's right. They closed the church. Hello. Well, that's right. Oh, here you go. Right. They closed the church. All right. But he was he was stirred. His spirit was stirred in him when he saw the city totally given to idolatry. Turn. Go down to verse twenty-two. Then Paul stood in the midst of Mars Hill and said, "You men of Athens, I perceive that in all things you are too superstitious." Okay. For as I passed by and beheld your devotions, I found an altar with this inscription to the unknown God. Hallelujah. Whom therefore you ignorantly worship, Him I declare unto you. Mm -hmm. You see, they had altars to every God that was known to man. Yes. And just in case right? they missed one, they had the one to the unknown yes. God. Yes, hallelujah. Because they didn't want to miss any. And Paul said, Him I declare unto you. Because you don't know Hallelujah. him. God that made the world and all things therein, seeing that he is Lord of heaven and earth, dwells not in temples made with hands, neither is worshipped with men's hands, as though he needed anything, seeing he gives to all life and breath and all things, and has made of one blood. Aren't you glad? Yeah. I don't care who's blood, who gets cut, no matter their color of their skin or whatever, yeah. red blood comes Yes, out. that's right. Isn't that awesome? We're one blood. Hallelujah. I've been working. i got to find myself. Jesus. To dwell on all the face of the earth that has determined the times before appointed in the bounds of their habitation, that they should seek the Lord, 
if happily they might feel after him and find him, though he be not far from every one of us. Hallelujah. He's just a whisper away. Yes, he is. Jesus. He's just a whisper away. This is what I want you to look at. For in him, in Jesus, we live, we move, and we have our being. Yes, thank you, Jesus. As certain also of your own poets have said, for we also are his offspring. For as much then as we are the offspring of God, we ought not to think that the Godhead is like gold or silver, stone graven by art and man's device. And the times of this ignorance God winked at. But now commands all men everywhere to repent. Hallelujah. In Him, abiding in Jesus, we live. We live. Yes. We were dead in sin. Yes. Our spirit was dead. Yes. But through the grace of God, Hallelujah. through the Spirit of God, yes. He brought life to us. Woo, and we are born again. Yes, hallelujah. hallelujah. Not by the will of man, that's what Paul said, not by the will of flesh, mm -hmm. but by God himself. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Some people get confused about the Holy Ghost baptism and the Holy Spirit. When we are born again, the Holy Spirit is the regenerator. That's right. He regenerates our spirit. You know why you never feel old? How, you know. Except your body. Yeah. But you don't, you don't feel old, do you? How old do you think you feel? 18. Don't think about that. Just how, how, how do you think in your mind you are? How old? Oh, no. No, you're younger than that. 18, right? About 18, 16. The prime of our lives. Not, don't think about your body. Think about your spirit. See, your spirit is eternal. So your spirit never ages. That's why you never, in your mind, you still feel like you're you're a teenager because your spirit is eternal. And sometimes we try to act like we're teenagers. And we get in trouble, don't we, brother? Hallelujah. Shooting how many rounds of... <laughs> on, on a couple of given days, goodness sakes. Oh, But he said, in him we live. To me, he said, to me, for me to live as Christ yes. and to die as gain. Can we say that from our hearts tonight? For me to live as Christ. Oh, Not Jesus and something else. Mm -hmm. Just Jesus. Hallelujah. Just Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Take this whole world, but give me, but Jesus. Give me Jesus. Yes, hallelujah. That little gal, oh, if you've never seen her, on Facebook, her name is Gracie, and she's crippled. She just had surgery on her legs, trying to get her to be able to walk. And there's a song, it's a, it's a new song, uh, Just Give Me Jesus. And she goes, I can't even do it. Just give me Jesus. Whoa! And it blesses me. She's got millions of followers on Facebook. Hallelujah. It will bless you. I thank God. If she can have that kind of a spirit in the condition that her little body is in. But you see, her spirit uh -huh. is what? Living. She's alive in Jesus. Hallelujah. In Him, in Jesus, we live and we move. Hallelujah. Some say, why are you doing this at your age? Because He's moving. <laughs> Hallelujah! I'm telling you, people that 60 year old sometimes. They are. You can be around some people 60 years old, you'd think they were 90. Yeah. I'm, I'm not joking. It's true. Some people just they just think old. I don't want to think old. I asked my mother, she was in her 90s, I said, Mother. But she was, you know, not having great life right then. I said, do you just want to go home, Mother? Oh, yes, I do. I said, I'm not talking about your natural. I'm talking about heaven. Oh, no, no, no. She said, I've still got things I want to do. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Hallelujah. What a way to live. In Him we live and we move. Yes, glory. Hallelujah. <laughs> we move. You know, if you want to get stagnant, sit down. 
do nothing. That's right. Bless the Lord. Now sometimes our bodies, I mean, you know I work a while, and then I have to sit down for a while. I do, because my back just absolutely permit. What's the right word? Bless the Lord. <laughs> Refuses to let me do anymore. I'm making my bed, but I'll push through it to get the last pillow on there. And my toys. I have toys on my bed. I'm in that wind. I have toys on my bed. And I've told my dog, don't you touch my toys. And now he's learned to jump on the bed. He thinks he, he does all this. He does. But he just won't get chucked on the bed like he just owns the toys. And I said, those are my toys and don't you touch them. Because he has his own toys. <laughs> we move. <laughs> you know, if you stand still, what will happen? You'll start going backwards. Why do people like me and, and Nadine and Brother Ray and, and Marvell and Clint, we just keep on, we just keep on. And Elaine over there and Dorothy, she amazes me. She's another one that amazes me. Break bones, it don't matter. I'll be down a little while, but I'll be up. Yes. Because she's moving. She knows where the action is, and she knows who's going to take care of her. Yeah. Hallelujah. And we move. You know, when you read through the New Testament, everything they did was spoken to by the Spirit. The Spirit moved them. Right? The Spirit moved them. The other night, the other day, Tuesday, Shirley came over to do the books. I, don't, I was doing something Monday. I don't remember what happened. And uh, so uh, when she came in, she said, I think Dick's going to come over with, with Johnny when he gets through with his hair. He cut his hair. And uh, he wanted to talk to you maybe about if you have something about the doctor or the symptom or something. Well, the night before, as God is my witness, I have this book, it's about that thick, of a teaching on the 16 fundamental truths of the Assemblies of God that I taught in Wilcox. My daughter-in-law told me I have never heard that since I've been in church. I said, you can teach out of it, whatever, all the notes are there, everything he needs to teach on the 16 fundamental truths. That's the Holy Ghost. That's the Holy Spirit. When he moves us, and we have our being. And I really didn't look that up, our being. There's probably some more to that too. Our being. We are who we are because of Jesus. That's right. Amen. Hallelujah. And you know, the more that we allow Him to abide in us and we abide in Him, the more and more and more that we're going to look like Jesus. Hallelujah. We're going to act like Jesus. Mm -hmm. We're going to talk like Jesus. That's our goal. Yes. Our goal. Yes. Ephesians, Paul talks about that we might be built up. And let's see, how does it go? It's in Ephesians. I might have to find it. I will. I will find it. Ephesians. It won't take me better than it. Hallelujah. I can find Ephesians. Oh, if I remember what I was going to say, I'll find it. Ah, yeah, here we go. Let's go up to, we were talking to, I was talking to somebody about these things. Verse 10 of chapter 4. He that descended is the same also that ascended up far above all heaven, speaking of Jesus, that he might feel all things. And he gave some apostles, some prophets, and some evangelists, and some pastors and teachers. For the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ. Now some think that that comma should not be there for the perfecting of the saints comma. It should be for the perfecting of the saints for the work of the ministry. And I believe that. That's what Jesus has given to the church. I've talked to someone one time and uh, she thought you had to be perfect. I said, no, it's perfecting of the church. God is perfecting us. We're not perfect. Till we all come in the unity of the faith 
of the knowledge of the Son of God unto a perfect man, unto the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ. That's what I wanted to read. Till we come unto a perfect man, unto the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ. Have we arrived to that? Have we really arrived at that? That we henceforth be no more children tossed to and fro and carried about with every wind of doctrine by the slight of men and cunning craftiness whereby they lie to, in wait to the sea. But speaking the truth in love may grow up into him in all things which is the head, even Christ, from whom the whole body fitly joined together, I love this, and compacted by that which every joint supplies, according to the effectual working in the measure of every part, makes increase of the body unto the edifying of itself in love. We're all part of each other. He's likened this to a physical, our physical body. You know, Brother uh, Ark, if our hand decided it wanted to do its own thing, we'd be in trouble. You hit her once, you'd never do it again. <laughs> I heard a preacher at family camp one year talking about our liberty. And, and this woman was walking down the street just flailing her arms and walking. She just knocked this guy up against the head. He stopped her, and she said, I'm free. This is a free country. He said, yes, but your liberty ends where my nose begins. <laughs> but when we, when we truly get into this frame of mind of abiding and, and think about it in the fullness of what it's all about, it comes to this then that we're going to grow up into Him in all things. And, and I love this part where it says the whole body fitly joined together and compacted by that which every joint supplies. Sister Dorothy, you're a joint in this chair, in this body. Right. Sister Margaret, you're a joint. Every joint supplying what they need to supply, just like our bodies. Listen, don't break a foot because it'll tell on you. Let me tell you. It's not fun. I went to the doctor yesterday and he just dis declares to me that it's not anything pushing against it. So he told me, you're walking like this. I said, I know, because when I walk like that, it hurts. <laughs> you know what I did right there in front of him, in the nerves? I said, okay, I'm going to walk, and I'm going to believe. So I started walking. I am healed, I said. I am healed. I am healed. In the name of Jesus, I am healed. <laughs> and I'm still walking straight. So, see, I'm walking straight. Still walking straight. And it's going to be completely movable, no pain, no nothing. But in the body, it can happen more. We can get out of joy. We just get out of joy. And and I think the Holy Spirit is that thing that that uh, keeps us oiled together, so that we're not, you know, we're not, you know, we're not rubbing against each other the wrong way. And we're flowing together. Then he says we're going to grow up into him. And I like over, let's see, is it Ephesians? Is that what I'm thinking about? Maybe that's in the wrong spot. It says, we're no more strangers and foreigners, but fellow citizens with the saints and of the household of God and are built upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets, Jesus Christ himself being the chief cornerstone, in whom all the building, say all the building, all, all the building, building, fitly framed together, Oh, you don't have to repeat that. <laughs> Unto and holy temple in the Lord. He's talking about the body of Christ. In whom also you are building together for inhabitation of God through the Spirit. That's what this is about. We're fitly joined together and we grow up. How does it put it? All the building fitly Framed together grows unto a holy temple in the Lord in whom you also are built together for an habitation of God through the Spirit. I don't know. I've kind of just skipped around. But this abiding, 
to truly that here's the other thing. Here it is. That that we ourselves or nobody else can tell where we are and where Jesus. I mean, it's like we we just become one. We don't know where we end and Jesus begins. I got a ways to go. I got a ways to go. Hallelujah. We all have a ways to go. Yes, we do. That we are one, 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 one with Jesus. Yeah. yeah. Come on. Hallelujah. Thank you. Lord. See, that's what church is about. The Bible says the foolishness of preaching. Paul said, Peter said in his epistle, I'm just stirring up your pure minds by way of remembrance. That's what preaching like this. I mean, you know, I'm preaching to the choir, so to speak. Uh, people that have served the Lord, many of you for many years, some of you probably longer than I am. But we haven't yet attained all the way. <coughs> the carnality, the carnal man. So somebody, that's that's what we bat. Yep. Our flesh. That's right. We bat our flesh. Paul said, I I bring my body in this situation. Lest when I preach to others, I myself would be a castaway. He, he's talked about his battle. He run that he might obtain. I don't fight this one that beats the air. Are you just beating the air tonight? Jesus. Let's come on in to his fullness. I wonder what would happen. Say this group of people, our con our congregation, really got this. And all of us came into that place of abiding in Jesus. I wonder what would happen. We serve God. You all serve God. I know that. But it's relation I'm talking about, a relationship with Jesus. There's a difference between Martha and Mary. Yes. And Martha worked hard. Why don't you make her help me, Jesus? I'm doing all the work. And Mary just sat down with Jesus' feet. Jesus would have been happy with a bowl of beans and some cornbread. <laughs> but I can picture Martha Amen. putting out the finest china the finest lens to serve Jesus. Because she loved Jesus. And Jesus loved Mary, Martha. But he said, Mary's chosen that particular thing. This won't be taken away from her. You know, we, we can work our fingers to the bone. What do you get? Bony fingers. fingers. <laughs> Y'all are ahead of me. But it won't take the being shut in with God, we all need to press in for that. Yes, amen. And then we will find the true meaning of abiding in Him. And He said, if my words abide in you, all those words, look it up in the dictionary, refresh it to yourself. All that, and then there was another thing, and I thought I printed it off, because I found all this on my phone, and I uh, I learned to print off of my phone. I'm so techy. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> Everything works. I, I'm amusing her again. <laughs> We've talked about the biblical, and, and I thought I had printed it out, but I couldn't find it, so I guess I did. So, abide in. Jesus. That's why we're that constantly. Now he's constantly abiding, but are we constantly abiding in him? Yeah, come on. Hallelujah. Can we have some music? I don't know if you feel like it, Elaine. You might need to go. We'll let Clint play. You no, know, she's she, you want to, you don't want to play, do you? She's going like this, and I've got to know what means. I think I knew what it meant. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to Jesus. Can y'all stand up? If I've stood up all this time, I don't want to stand up. Listen, you know that old chorus. I can sing it if you can find it because it's easy. Jesus, we just want to praise you. I'm going to sing that one. 
and just keep us. God, get us ready for revival, I pray. In the name of Jesus. Don't forget to check the thing over there. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We have a birthday man tonight, by the way, yes. And I wish we'd have made some festivity stuff. But we'll, we'll go to I hall. Brother Art, can I tell him how old you are, Brother Art? 80 years old today. Happy birthday. Woo! Happy birthday.